Hey well, guys, Randy Knauer with Maine Wildlife Management, and today we're up in Orno, bat proof in a house. <clears throat> we were here two weeks ago, sealed up almost the whole house, and we've got all our dormers, chimneys, anything exposed, any cracks, any flashing, all sealed up. Uh, we had a spot over here on this dormer, where the roofs tie in, where the bats are coming and going, and the other spot we've got is this little cupola. Uh, it's cedar, it's all wood. Insanely easy for the bashes land walk in that's the ventilation for this one little strip of uh, Ventilate uh, ridge they have here. There's no vents on this side cause it's a finished area Right below me and on the other side they have a big picture window and there's actually no gable vent So the only vent for this whole little ridge here and these cathedral ceilings on the inside is this one little vent uh, cupola and the gaps are probably oh, a couple inches so it's super easy for them to get in there what we're gonna do is Pull the whole thing off, bring it over, put some hardwood cloth on the inside that's black that won't be seen, and then reinstall it. Stay tuned. So, we started working on this cupola to bat proof it. Uh, now we came over, and there's only these three screws on each side holding it in, uh, but the caulking they use, we started to, sc started to score it, and uh, was gonna pry the whole thing off, but this cedar frame is super, super rough. It's like, it's got a lot of weathering on it, and it's definitely not in good shape. And if we pull that apart, the whole thing is gonna, it's just gonna fall apart. So instead, you know, we wanted to put this hardware cloth on the inside. You know, from the outside, it's from the ground, it's not really gonna show up. But I prefer to have it on the inside, because we have this gap that's like, this this little particle board, this particle board stuff on the top here. So we're having to push this in, kind of bow the wire so it has tension against here and the bottom edge. Now what I'm gonna do is put some screws one down at the bottom, one at the top, and we'll push that in a little more. And these little gaps up in here, that are left behind, you know, we'll put some foam up in there just to prevent the bats from getting in there. And then we'll run a bead of caulk in along the bottom here, all the way around. And that's how we're gonna secure this cupola. Ideally, we we'll take this whole thing off uh, and actually secure this on the inside so you don't see it, and screw it right down and have no issues at all. Uh, but because this specific cupola is pretty old and is deteriorating quite a bit, we're just gonna just leave it in place and we'll silicone all these seams, screw it together where we can, just to keep it in one piece. Uh, but if it pulls apart, mm, you know, it's gonna have pieces everywhere. We're gonna have to rebuild this whole thing. And the homeowner doesn't want that right now. They just wanna keep the bats out. That's the main concern. In the future, when this roof, you can see the shingles are all starting to roll up uh, over here. You know, all the shingles are peeling up. So eventually we need to replace this roof anyway. And when that time comes, this whole cupola is gonna get pulled off. It can be addressed then. We can maybe do a new one, fix the base, probably reuse the top of it, put the wire on the inside. But for now, it's gonna get through the next few years. This is gonna be more than adequate. And from the ground, you really won't see it. It'd be nice to have it on the inside, but for now, it's gonna work just fine. And that'll be more than enough to keep the bats out. So, thanks for watching. See you guys later.